This is a written conversation transmission between Blossom Goodchild and the Federation of Light. Universal Lighthouse has scripted it for easier understanding. Blossom speaks, once again, here we are. Marching onwards toward a better way. A brighter day. I do have a knowing that we are changing this planet's vibration, just by the fact that we are in it and allowing ourselves to smile from the heart. That's the key, right? GFL speaks, welcome to you, Blossom and welcome to each one. Each one whose heart is smiling in the very same knowing. This knowing is not something you come to know. This knowing is you. Do you see? You entered into the vibration of this planet in the knowing. As the knowing. You know. Your heart knows. Within and of itself that this experience is moving you through to a place of absolute truth. A place within you. Where you follow the feeling of this truth. It leads you home. This you know. Do you not? Blossom speaks, yes. I wonder how it must be for those who have not realized this knowing. What is it they have that keeps them going? For me, I cannot imagine wanting to be around without it. GFL speaks, yet, for all those who you label asleep. They are allowing their being to be exactly where it needs to be for them, on their particular journey. Many who are labeled awake would do well to be grateful to all those they call asleep. For they are contributing to your experience of being awake. Blossom speaks, I think these days, we can become frustrated with those who choose to remain in slumber. It doesn't seem to be helping the divine plan. GFL speaks, the fact that they are in slumber is part of the divine plan. Blossom speaks, how can that be? GFL speaks, all that is. All that you are. All that is in your experience, in each one's experience, has to be part of the divine plan. It cannot not be. Blossom speaks, many feel that the atrocities and abhorrence that others choose to conduct cannot possibly be part of the divine plan. How can something so evil be part of divinity? GFL speaks, everything, Blossom. Everything is part of divinity. Blossom speaks, so, evil is part of divinity. My, oh my, that's going to ruffle a few feathers. GFL speaks, the feathers will ruffle due to misunderstanding. Blossom speaks, I think you may need to help many understand the misunderstanding. GFL speaks, we have stated there is only love. Only love vibrating within different frequencies of itself. Blossom speaks, so then, very, very, low vibrations. The lowest of the low. Where children suffer beyond measure. Is still love. GFL speaks, yes. For there is nothing else. All creation. All experiences derive from love. Blossom speaks, who is it saying originally? You or me? GFL speaks, you. Blossom speaks, okay. So, still, many will not go along with this. How can you say that to deliberately torture a child is coming from love? GFL speaks, because there is nothing else, Blossom. We are not saying this is agreeable to us. Not at all. We are not saying we easily accept this. What we are saying, is that. Without question, only love exists, and that the vibration of that. That which is all and everything vibrates and resonates for some on the lowest possible frequency. In the same way. Those on your planet who give and give and give to serve the whole. Have chosen to vibrate on the highest possible vibrational frequency. Choices of Vibration, Blossom Blossom speaks, please don't say that's all at the end of that sentence, as I thought you might, because many would find that flippant considering the depth of pain many have to endure. 
GFL speaks, if we were to say that's all. It would be the truth. Yet, it would be the reader's truth to understand what we mean by that. You see, Blossom. Being on your planet and being made aware in these times of the darkness. Is showing to you, your purpose. As the darkness. Or, we choose to say. Those of lesser light. Blossom speaks, like, much lesser light. Like much lesser light. GFL speaks, we agree. Those residing within the lowest frequencies possible. As their behavior is brought to the surface. Into the light. One can begin to feel within the knowing of what must be done. In order for those souls to either repent through love offered or remove their energy from the planet into a place that is of nothingness where their existence would be reformed. It is very difficult to describe. Blossom speaks, some would then say. They are getting away with murder. GFL speaks, yet, they are not. They cannot possibly walk away from that which they chose to experience without consequences. Blossom speaks, can you talk more about that? Emails tell me that by you saying to send love to these souls that you have lost the plot because they do not deserve love considering the pain they have caused another. GFL speaks, Blossom, as one soul recognizes more of the truth of itself. The light of truth that it is. When experiencing something that is said or done to another that doesn't come from that higher place. No matter how small, is it not that this feels truly uncomfortable? That one cannot sit well with it. Until forgiveness of self has been cleared. Note we say of self. Not from the soul who endured the circumstance. That is another matter. Yet, forgiveness of the self must come to clear one's path. Blossom speaks, yep. I know of that. As you say. However small. GFL speaks, when a soul leaves the earthly plane. They have a recap of their life. We are sure many of you have heard of this. One can perhaps think of it as a movie. Seeing yourself in all circumstances and how you behaved within them. For all the love and joy you felt and created. For yourself and for another. That feeling is exponentially felt within your being. Magnified a trillionfold. How happy this makes you feel. How your spirit saw. So, for every kindness you showed another. You get to experience. To feel. That kindness. Yet, even more so. It works both ways, Blossom. For every unkindness shown to another. One experiences it for themselves, yet, even more so. The heart feels the pain you put upon another. It is law. So then, understand this. There is not even the slightest chance of one who commits such deeply wounding atrocities to another. That they will get away with it. They too, shall receive that which they caused another. Can you think of any greater punishment? Yet. We prefer to not call it punishment. It is as is. It is law. That pain that they are to experience is the greatest recognition of self. And in order to forgive themselves, they must soul search for eons of time. Blossom speaks, yet, some would say, good luck to them. So it should be. GFL speaks, yes, one cannot escape oneself. Yet, to come from a place of wishing them more than that, is not coming from a place of love. To send love to these souls is part of your divine plan. Blossom speaks, wait. What do you mean your divine plan? Do we each have a divine plan of our own? GFL speaks, yes. Blossom speaks, good lord. That concept has never even occurred to me. 
How so? GFL speaks, each life. Each given opportunity. Of, or for, life, has its own divine plan written within the greater divine plan. Blossom speaks, so, a divine plan was devised especially for me. Especially for each one. GFL speaks, yes. Blossom speaks, whoa. That's a lot of plans. GFL speaks, written of course. By yourselves. You devise your own divine plan. For you are all divine beings. Divine beings of light. You are of the light. You can create anything you desire. Being of the light. Therefore, all that you create you have chosen for your highest good. To experience and expand in and of yourself. You may feel having experienced certain aspects that you would not have chosen such experiences. For why would you bring such pain upon yourself? This is far too detailed and complex to go into. Yet, we ask you to trust in yourself. In your inner knowing. That down the track you recognize its necessity and give gratitude for it. Blossom speaks, I get also, that some will get this that you are saying. And some will not. It is not for any of us to judge where another is at. We will all understand when it is our time to do so. GFL speaks, not only your time, Blossom. Yet, your placement in vibration. The higher you allow yourself to lift. The more understandings you can understand. This too, is part of the divine plan. Blossom speaks, yep, and we shall keep on, doing our best to understand in any given moment. No matter what is taking place. That we volunteered and chose to be here. Obviously, as I often say, far too many sherries with the vicar at the time. Yet, here we are. Doing what we came to do. Being what we came to be. Light. In gratitude. In loving service. I am. The Federation of Light Channels through Blossom Goodchild at blossomgoodchild.com. Thank you for watching Universal Lighthouse Galactic Messages and Spiritual Teachings. Please use your own personal discernment on all content posted. If you enjoyed the different authors that are shared, please subscribe to their content as well. You can visit our blog page at universallighthouse.com and subscribe to receive daily posts by your email. And while you are there, tune in to Universal Lighthouse Radio, broadcasting 24-7 for your vibrational needs. Again, that's universallighthouse.com.